Hey guys, Justin here from SoccerDrillsDaily.com. Hey, uh, this week's motivation, I want to talk about the one little trick that can help you beat players that are a lot better than you. So when you're talking about something like this, what you want to do is you want to focus on the things you can affect, right? So there's things that you can affect. You can't affect the fact if players are bigger than you, if they're taller than you, things like that. You can't affect those things, and so you shouldn't worry about them. You know, but what you can affect is your level of fitness. You can affect how hard you work, how hard you train, how much you try to develop your skills that you're weak at. Those are things that you can affect, and those have nothing to do with talent. Those have to do with how, how hard you're willing to work. That's the trick to beating players that have a little bit more skill than you is you have to be willing to work harder than they are. So and what I'm talking about is, you know, if, if you know there's players better than you, if there's just guys that just are straight up better than you right now, look at them. Are they sticking around after practice or are they just kind of riding, riding on their talent? Because a lot of players that have a lot of talent aren't necessarily willing to work as hard because they try to skate by on talent. That's where you beat those guys. You beat them by sticking around after practice. You beat them by doing the extra work. You beat them by working on your fitness on your off days, your ball control on your off days. Where you beat players that are more talented than you is in your training and in your hard work. That's where you beat them. You know, you have to be willing. When they're sitting at home watching TV, you need to be working. You know, when they're going home right after practice, you need to be sticking around for an extra 15 minutes or half an hour and just practicing things that you're weak at and just getting stronger and better. You know, and that's going to do two things for you. First of all, it's going to develop your abilities. It's going to develop your strength. It's going to develop your skill. That's all stuff that you're getting that they're not getting because they're going home. And the second thing that's going to do is that's going to change your mindset because you've put in the hours, you've put in the time, you spent the extra time to try to make yourself better. You know, and now when you go out on the field and you play against guys like that, you've got a lot more invested than they do. You know, you've worked a lot harder, you've trained a lot harder to get there, you've overcome more, and so it means more to you. So in that last 10 minutes of the game, when everybody's tired, that's when all this extra training, all this extra work is going to pay off for you. So you need to be willing to do the extra work in practice. And then the other thing that you can do to beat players like this in games is you need to have the mindset that you're not going to be outworked. You know, one of my favorite quotes comes from Derek Jeter, the baseball player, and I don't really like Derek Jeter as a player or anything like that, but this quote is exactly right. He says, there may be players with more talent than you, but there is no excuse for anyone to ever work harder than you. And that's exactly right. You know, if you're working harder than everybody else around you and you're getting beat, well, maybe there's nothing you can do about that. But 99% of the time, that doesn't happen. If you are working harder than everyone around you, you're not going to get beat because they don't have that extra preparation and talent can only take you so far. Um, so one, one of my other favorite quotes comes from The Rock, uh, Dwayne Johnson, and what he says is the secret to success is you always need to be the hardest worker in the room. And that's exactly right, because you can affect that. So you need to worry about the things that you can affect. You can affect how hard you're working. You can affect if you're going home early or if you're sticking around and doing those extra reps. You can affect that. And if at the end of the day you still get beat, you get beat. But 99% of the time, that doesn't happen. 99% of the time, if you're willing to outwork everyone on the field and everyone in the room, then you're going to win, talent or not. So you need to be willing to do that extra work. Like I said, it's a little trick that you can use to beat the other, to beat players that are a little more talented than you. So it's a simple trick, but it's not an easy trick. So you got to be willing to make the choice. You got to be willing to say, I will not be outworked. Are you doing that? So this week, pick something, look at your competition around you, figure out what they're not working on, what they're not willing to do, and then you decide if you're willing to do it. And that's going to be the difference between you succeeding and failing. Not talent, but how, how hard you're willing to work. If you guys wouldn't mind taking a second and liking this video below, I'd really appreciate it. Um, hopefully you're enjoying these motivational soccer videos. Uh, if you have something that you're struggling with, send me an email and let me know. Um, I'd love to help you out. That's what Soccer Drills Daily is here for, is to help you become a great player and to achieve your soccer dreams. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next week. Thanks, guys.